People are saying no more way. What the hell? Haters. Bunch of haters in the chat. I'm gonna prove you wrong. Twitch has the highest win rate in every single elo above gold. What's up with that? Yeah, he's just very broken, I guess. Infinity boss helped a lot. Other ADCs got nerfed, right? Like when you nerf like stuff like Zari and I don't know. Other champions also got better. Ooh, Aesol matchup, okay. But yeah, um... Yeah, Twitch is strong. Twitch is probably uh, nerfed soon. Twitch is absolutely dominating ADC role completely, especially with Lulu, it's so broken together. Twitch Lulu is so OP. It used to be Twitch Yumi, but Yumi is just like weak right now, and Yumi is, uh, Lulu is much better. The thing about sta the thing about Twitch is that Twitch queue is just OP in solo queue, right? People are playing in an uncoordinated environment. And yeah. Yo, is it normal that my Shen is playing heal? I don't know why, my Shen has heal on top then. Is this like full supportive Shen? He ults you and then he comes in and heals you. Guys, I literally, today in the morning, I literally watched a trophy bot of playing, and he was playing way into Aesol, exactly this matchup. Now I'm gonna replicate everything Trovi's done, and I'm gonna own him. Did I watch LeBlanc vs. Zari? I didn't manage to catch LeBlanc vs. Zari. Mr. Waldman is gonna give me some advice at, what, 9pm today when his timeout is, uh, is gone. Let me recreate what you're afraid to confront. 30 seconds until minions spawn. What's the state of leak? Is it more fun than two years ago? Yes, for sure. Remove, removal of mythic items will always make this game more fun than mythic items being in the game. A heart bared isn't broken. It's freed. Minions have spawned. Nothing's as simple as blood <clears throat> and blood. Oops. The surreal makes people commit. That was a bad cue. <clears throat> Good, evil. The line blurs. Oh my god. The minion is kinda of fat there. Okay, I don't need to be a bit careful with my mana, I guess. I think QW would probably do more damage there. That's his flash. Outside the lines. Damn. Didn't manage to cancel his base. I can't waste E now in case Nuna starts rolling his snowball into my lane. Oh, there he is. Hi, oh, Nuna. I really so lost a lot of his HP. I'm gonna get a better base than him. Lane's looking really nice. <clears throat> yeah, TP back to lane. He has DMAT. Okay, gotta be careful of that. No justice. No revenge. Clarity. Damn, failed to spouse. Let's see. Got the flash here.
a ring. Damn, I can't go that kill. I didn't get any kills here, only assists. Okay, we misplayed so hard. Jax failed the jump on E. I don't know what's going on. I can't fill the W on Nunu. Well, my lane is kind of screwed a little bit right now because I can't get a reset off. So I have to keep laning with lack of mana and HP. Nuna might gank mid again, if you look at my lane position. Never mind. Why is Shen ulting me? I'm <clears throat> gonna start pushing this. Okay. I'm doing really well, but I can't say the same for my teammates who just lost the Dragon and the 3v3 on bot set. Shen kind of wasted the ultimate as well. Trying to be as focused as I can so I don't miss uh, spells and stuff. This guy's buying so many pink wars. He placed one top set, now he plays one bot set. Already spent 150 gold on pinks. Right now, Aesop has one roam. I'm hoping my bot set doesn't die to this. I'm no flash mid. Again, I'm still hoping my bot so doesn't die to this room. Until I see Nunu, I can't be too aggressive mid. Oh, now I see Nunu. We killed nothing on bot. No kill for me again. Now I gotta be careful in case Twitch goes mid, right? Rakan, if Twitch is mid, you have to jump on me. So. We're struck by what finds us alone. I'm gonna greet for the next wave, but again, Nunu Gang could be coming. I need to immediately clear him away. Very nice. 
Oh, 50 seconds for a TP angle behind them on bot. I think that's what I'm gonna look to do. I think I'm gonna save the uh, the TP and look for that play. This guy just failed a ward over the wall. <clears throat> okay, Ace is gonna help push again for one wave. They cleared the ward behind them on Botland. I can no longer TP. I keep spiraling down paths. I never thought I'd walk. Now it's just time to get push meet and then with the push meet influence bot side of the map. Our Shen Toplin. I'm playing for Shen Toplin is worthless. Okay, people are midland. Ace on no ult now. I'll always be a student of the brush. Now it's the question is like is Twitch mid, right? Because this guy could be trying to like bait me right now. I don't wanna go too far up. It's very annoying when the map is like this, but people aren't what they say. Uh, no drops. I'm going bot. I'm going behind them. Still don't know where the ASL is. Jax takes another kill from me. I don't think I'm tipping top. It's worthless tower is that. I'm gonna take the small raptors. Now there's gonna be a Twitch coming mid lane. So I have to respect that play. Damn, I could have done so much more this game if I didn't have to constantly respect Twitch stealth if it was like another ADC. I got some items. I'm saving my TP 3 minutes already right now, but I don't see any TP play yet. I'm gonna keep saving it until I get a TP play. This lane assignment is better for them because I can't 1v2 Twitch Lulu and Aesil can handle my uh, Zary Recon. Sadly, what happens when you have a losing bot, you are just very far behind in a lot of map plays. This poppy has hearts too, she will tank us. I'm trolling, I don't know how I missed that E. I'm so trolling right now. Holy way damage. They got almost every grab. Does my Zari win? My Zari loses into ASL who's 0-3. I'm gonna cry, bro. No. 
Ay, ay, ay. Flash. Flash. <clears throat> there goes my flash, there goes my TP. Now I can easily die again to anything that catches me off guard. Oh, Shenul though. That's some extra safety. Am I going back to start this after League? No. The grass isn't green. Never mind, I didn't even need the ult, I'm sorry for pinging you. I'm actually stronger than I realized. <laughs> I ah, I need to base. It's not too bad of an ult, I mean at least he gets to push bot and I can just go top now. But yeah, it would still be better if he didn't ult, right? That's my bad. That no came fast. But what do you want me to do? Be 30 years old and be in the middle of the students that are like 10 years old, 10 years younger than me, you know? It's awkward as hell. If I want to study, I study myself online, you know, or whatever, reading books or anything like that. Poppy died, I don't know how. I don't know how Shane got a solo kill on Poppy. I'm gonna keep pushing top lane. Hopefully my teammates recognize that I'm like the strongest player right now and they just play around me. So I can try to carry this game. Like right now what we're doing here is kind of bad, I think. We should just let Shen die and not suicide with Rakan with him. Our Jack should also be stealing their blue and wolves. I'm not sure why he didn't do that. For Dying Midland. Answers for the most burning questions. This guy ghosted. No, I ain't that. I inted the... He gets W off now, he's gonna leave. Not bad. I gave Aesol a huge shot down. Not bad. Rookie mistake. My team is doing no damage to Poppy. Zari seems to be kind of useless still. My blue buff is gone. My Jax is gonna get. I should have maybe tip it to that part. Please give me a kill. No! No kill again. Barn was up, we could have barn, there's no barn. Maybe do enemy blue here. He's gonna face check me guys. What? What is going on? I'm walking in between towers for this. Yeah, I'm on my way lads. Bro, how do I connect? Jax, it's all yours! Ah, I'm dead. I don't, can't flash, I think. No! Flash Lolo. 
Okay, I didn't expect to live that long. I thought I was dead for sure. Maybe if I flush earlier, I actually live. So, this is really awkward, right? So, we killed Lulu and Twitch on midland. So, me and Jax want to move into enemy blue to steal their jungle, which makes a lot of sense. Then my Shen and Murakan, who are the two weakest champions in this draft or in this game, with no damage, engage into Aesol and Nuno. And then we're chasing them around the map until Twitch and Lulu come off of our respawn and Poppy TPs. This makes no sense. I don't understand what they're doing. Like, why would a Shen and a Rakan be making a 2v2 play? These champions have no damage together. What's heavy in the mind becomes light on a page. I'm going for Kriblum next, the most standard way built. But right now I gotta be again careful, I gotta play very passively, I have no flash. This Aesol didn't manage to lane against me at all, and now he's... Um, how do we say it? He's back in the game. Completely. One MR item equals Scriblum. They're gonna get more MR, probably. They're also reaching high levels. Scriblum is cheaper and also gives haste. And something like Rabadon. Chain's gonna die, and now Acer gets reset, and he lives. Disaster. I move bot for nothing. I feel like our Shen is not really trying to win. This build is also, I don't know, not a build really. This point I have no choice, might as well do another wave and get a tower. They're probably gonna force burn here. Oh, they have no ASL. Which means they can't do barn. I can get a tower now. Okay. We just won. Somehow. Let's go barn. Ignore Aesa. Twitch actually doesn't have as much items as I thought. He's actually not that strong, I've realized. I'm going very aggressively on mid here. Twitch could be stealth and I know that. Okay, I'm alive. Oh my god. I want us to get this Midland Tower. Please. We just press Q. I choose. I trolled a bit. My E was horrible. Is revealed now.
Can't catch him. He could be anywhere. Which Q is very strong ability. Gives you so much survivability. I'm trying to carry, but it's hard. I'm not really the main character right now. I was hoping to be, based on the fact that I was 6-0 early game, but... Felt like my Rakan and my Shin were playing more around Zarian Jax than around me. Which kinda sucks, but... I have to deal with it. Minus one. Nice. See, like, this is what I mean. Them playing around me, around my lane. This Aesol doesn't really have any counterplay to Jack Strakhan. Lolo is mid, though. Disengage is way too deep. On this, he smited. Got him. I think we need to kind of base now, though. Twitch is coming up, and I need to get mana HP. I can TP. Thing is, I don't want to buy anything. Do I want to sell Dark Seal? Not really. There's a very hard chance I get him to stand stacks. So, yeah, it's a base where I don't buy anything. Just gotta keep farming for my Rabadon. <laughs> Getting blue would be nice. And I guess we're gonna play for... Jogon and Baron. Dude, Aesol has a lot of stacks, man. He's annoying as hell. He's really annoying. Hell, he tip it top. This guy is run doing a little bit of a Marum Poppy. I would like to keep farming for Ravenon. Right now, enemy team. Ah, the cannon gets missed by my. Enemy team doesn't have anyone. This guy is not really respecting me. Nice, my team won the mid fight. For some reason, he thinks no magic is just Nunu can just tank away. But that's not happening. I'm gonna base the P with Rabadon, and I think it's over. I think we won. I played pretty well this game. Again, I could have pushed my lead much better if I didn't have to constantly respect the Twitch being mid lane in early game. 
I had such a good position in lane. Good game though. Chat, did the guys prove you wrong that Frey is fine? You guys always all said no, no, no. He thought he could nuke Dragon before he dies? Yeah, but Dragon was full HP, you know? 35k damage.